All right, Forsen's Law. Check it. This one is 40 minutes, dude. What do you mean? Oh, this is from my channel. All right, there were two. One is fucking two hours. All right, not that one. I'm guessing it's this one. This one is three minutes. All right. Is this safe? The fucking, uh, fucking Jace Q. This one is safe. Yes. All right. The recent explosion in popularity of Minecraft speedrunning, thanks to Dream, has led to many streamers previously not interested in speedrunning to take on the challenge. I didn't even know who Dream was when I started running, but okay, yeah. Of claiming the world record, one of those many streamers is a man named Sebastian Force better known as Forson. Despite not actually ever claiming the record, or even getting remotely close, with an amazing time of 29 minutes, Excuse me. Forson still attempts every day for eight hours a day. What? With the amount of runs, the fuck I stream for eight hours. It makes sense that Forson was the first to discover the revolutionary new <laughs> portal locating technique. On the 12th of November, Forson was just going through his daily speedrunning routine throwing god seeds and all the usual but as he was in the middle of throwing yet another run he realized something forson realized that the stronghold portal was always five rooms away from the main staircase after realizing this forson had to test his hypothesis forson tested many seeds and after a few he realized he was wrong sometimes the portal would be six away or even seven Forson knew he had to adjust his theory. That is when the three to seven law was set in stone. Forson's law is governed by three main rules. Rooms are only counted by the iron bars or Why the fuck is he whispering? Yet. Nothing else. This also applies to the main staircase. If there is no door on the main staircase, then that does not count as a room. The rooms must be counted from the main 4-4 staircase, which is where the eye locates to. Lastly, the what? quickest path must be taken to the room, for example, if there is a hole in the wall. There are a few exceptions to the 3-7 rule, as sometimes the portal room can be one or two rooms closer or further away. Additionally, if the stronghold is spawned in a ravine or underwater, this law may not be applicable. No! This law is still a work in progress. It's still applicable! So, Alright. You can use this new rule to shave off a few of those precious minutes spent finding the portal in your runs. Make sure to check out my Twitch at JSQ90. I'm live on the weekends in the night. Come hang out. Mm -mm. You forgot a lot of valuable stuff, right? It's still applicable. But it's just harder. You have to realize which which uh, open area, if it's cut off by like water in the ocean, for example, is connected to which one. They're all connected to one, you know, uh, game code wise. And then that counts as a room, a continuous room. You go out into the water, you swim down to that one. But it's hard to do in practice when you're doing the run, right? Or in reality. Uh, Lego Boy XD Donuts Nine says Merry Chrysler and Happy New Year for some. Thank you. Now I got the fucking hiccups. <sighs> delusional? How am I delusional? I literally got almost two world records. One or two streams after I fucking realized this. All right. What? Well, who's the, you're delusional? If anything. All right. Go fucking. Watch the VOD. You probably can't because I deleted it because of DMCA and, and fucking animal cocks. But it's true. It's fucking YouTube channel. It. All right. All right. Uh, we almost beat the fucking uh, the user yesterday after just like a couple of hours, literally, literally using the Forsen's law. Let's fucking beat it for real this time. So I can play my fucking demon souls. Ugh. I understand the risks. Don't warn me again. 
risking risk it for the biscuit watch his run look it doesn't matter what his run is if I'm gonna beat it now right it doesn't motherfucking matter bro <laughs>